In this video, we're going to go ahead and install Google Analytics onto our badass platform. And we're also going to install e-commerce tracking so that way we can track our sales that we make through our badass platform. So that's pretty cool. All right, first things first, you need a Google Analytics account if you don't already have one. Uh, it's free, so you just go to analytics.google.com or you can Google Google Analytics and then you need to set up your account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and you can follow along and I'll explain it as I go. So I have my account and then I'm going to set up my property within my account and hit the drop down, create new property. And I'll call this crazy funnels website URL self-explanatory. Go ahead and select your industry category and they do this so that they can compare your data against other uh, business data in your industry. So they so that way you can also tell how well you are doing. Let me see. Business reporting time zone. Select where you live or whatever you want, I guess, but get tracking ID. And here's our tracking ID right here. I want to go ahead and copy it. And we're going to come back to our admin panel here and we're going to go to plugins, add new. Now there is a way to add Google Analytics straight in Optimized Press, but down the road, if you want to conduct split tests with Google Analytics, you'll want to have Google Analytics installed the way I'm about to show you, because if you go through Optimize Press to install it, you can't do split tests the same way. So just do what I'm showing you here if you don't know any other way. We're going to search for header and footer. And we're going to install now. It's this one, header and footer. Activate the plugin. We'll go to settings, header and footer. And we're going to paste this Google Analytics tracking code right here in our header and foot, well, our header section injection under the header, head and footer tab. And then hit save. All right, so Google Analytics is now on our website. What we want to do now is come back in here and turn a few settings on. So come up to property settings, scroll on down here. I want to turn on enable demographics and interest reports. I want to turn on use enhanced link attribution and we'll pop up the little directions here because we have to add something to our, oops, to our code. So copy and you see it's under create between create and send. So go back to your header footer. We have create and send. We gotta drop in that little bit of code. Save. And we can hit save here. I do also recommend syncing with uh, Google Webmaster Tools, but that's uh, another topic. All right, user management, tracking code, data collection, We'll turn on remarketing and advertising reporting features. Save it. Go to user ID, session settings. All right, organic search sources. I'm just clicking through these real quick. There's something I am looking for. And then if you use any of these other things, you can go ahead and mess with it. Now we're gonna go back one and we're gonna go to view and we're under views, all website data. We're gonna create a new view. I'm just going to call this master. This is the master view. Set your time zone, create view. I'm going to view settings. And we're going to turn on bot filtering. Hit save. User management. There's goals. We'll set those up during split tests. Content grouping, filters, channel settings. Don't need to mess with that right now. E-commerce. we got to turn e-commerce on. Enable e-commerce, and we can turn on enable related products. Hit next step, and we're going to leave enhanced e-commerce settings off. So leave that off. Hit submit. And that's all the settings you need to adjust within Google Analytics currently. Of course, there can be goals and different reports and all that good stuff, but that's for another time. You have the basic settings in place, which is what we're working on right now. 
Now, in order to actually track this e-commerce stuff, we have to come in here and add some code to one of our pages. So we're gonna to come to Optimize Member, API Tracking, and there's the opportunity to place tracking codes in different locations based off of where people are in the order process. So there's sign up tracking codes, which is when somebody signs up for your website and sub submits payment. And they give you a full description right here that you can read it. All right, so when I was editing this video, I realized that I did need to add tracking code for the sign up tracking code. So this is a little addendum to the video and I'll include the code below the video so you can just essentially copy and paste it. So that's what I'm gonna do now is paste in the correct Google Analytics tracking code for when somebody uh, signs up. So you wanna make sure you do have a code in here and save all changes. But what I'm doing right now is I'm going to capability tracking codes because every capability I'm selling is a package. Capability and package is used inter interchangeably. So every package, which represents a course or a resource, is a capability. So they have the capability to access that package. So every time somebody buys the capability to access the package, which is my course or my resource, then that should trigger a sale within Google Analytics. So that's what I'm doing here. So we want to integrate capability tracking codes. And I'll have the code pasted down below. It looks like this and I actually have to modify it real quick, but I'll have the actual functioning one uh, down below for you to use. So you can just straight copy and paste what I'll have below, but I'm replacing this initial right here with the amount value. So initial, looking everywhere, it says initial. I'm just typing amount. Amount. Did I spell them? Okay. So come all the way to the bottom and hit save all changes. Now, if you are doing something other, like you're selling recurring membership or different levels or something like that, you'll need to add code probably to your signup tracking codes or modification tracking codes, but I'm not doing a recurring payment currently. So all I'm tracking are capability tracking codes. I mean, there are descriptions in here, you can read it and you'll have the code, I'll have it below. So if you need it, go ahead and uh, implement it. Make sure you save all changes. And there we go, we have set up Google Analytics on our website and we've been set up the e-commerce tracking as well so we can track how well or how much money we are generating with our badass platform.